Hi and welcome to another episode of Friendly Plastic TV. I'm your host Linda Peterson and today we're going to be combining a couple of different products, some art embossed metal with some friendly plastic to make a fabulous pair of earrings. I mentioned we're going to be using the art embossed brass. It is a thin metal so what I've done is I've applied a sheet, two sheets back to back using double stick tape so this is a double thickness. Makes it just a little sturdier. I've cut out my shape. I've actually used a fingernail file to soften up any of the edges and remove any burrs. You also notice that it has a little bit of a texture to it and I did that with the back of a ball peen hammer. You can choose to texture it or leave it the way it is, that's fine. And then you'll want to poke a hole with your hole punch. Next, grab your friendly plastic. You can see that we're using the swirl pattern here, but you could e easily use uh, scraps that are left over, a marbled piece, or any color that you prefer. And you'll want to heat this, whether that's on the griddle or using the hand heat tool that I have here. Alright, that's nice and soft now, and if you need to, you can test to make sure that it is soft enough just by uh, pressing your finger on it. If it leaves a fingerprint, it's ready to go. Apply some petroleum jelly to my cutters before I cut the designs out, and all I'm going to do is just stamp this in there in a random pattern. You want to make sure that some of your cutters go off the edges because we kind of want jagged edges for this particular uh, style of a pair of earrings or you could turn this into a pendant. And we're going to let this cool. You can see that I punched out the shapes because they're laying over here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back to the metal shape that I created earlier and I'm going to just apply this over the top and I'm going to match the hole up so that it's in the center of one of the holes that I created with the friendly plastic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over and just hold it still and trim it out with my scissors. Just like this. Okay. And it doesn't have to be real perfect. Oops, that piece kind of flew. So you wind up with something like this. All right? Make sure you do that again for the other uh, earring. I've mixed up a little bit of quick set two part epoxy and so that's what I'm going to use to apply to the back of my friendly plastic. A, just a nice even thin coat. A little quick because like I said this will set up in about five minutes. And then just lay that on your brass piece. Try to match up the center just as, uh, as good as you can. If you have a little bit of plastic left over the sides, don't worry about it. We'll snip that off a little later. Let's do this piece here. You can tell it's already starting to set up. This will clean up pretty easy with a little bit of alcohol. So it's good to have that laying around. Now we're going to let both of those pieces set up. So we need to create the ear wire. This is the shape that we're going to make. And the first thing we're going to do, is think of a triangle. So we're going to kind of eye measure about three-fourths of an inch down the wire and we're going to make a bend. Okay. Then we're going to come up about an inch and a half and we're going to make another bend. It's kind of like the backwards number four. All right, so we'll trim out down here at the bottom. Cut that off there. If you need to, if this is sharp, you can go over that with your fingernail file or with a jeweler's file. And then we'll want to create a little hook here uh, so that our focal piece doesn't fall off. But before we do that, we need to actually uh, string it on. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a little um, place for that to set by bending my wire up and back. Alright, so it's just a little jog there and I'm going to 
thread on a little nut that I got from the hardware store and then my focal piece Okay, this just lets it set down nice and easy and then I'm going to create a little loop on the bottom there this is my latch and it goes in just like that Okay, so now I have my set of earrings let's take a look at the finished earrings Wow, what a great project with so many possibilities. By changing the background shape and maybe the different colors of friendly plastic you have laying around, you can make a whole mound of jewelry that you're going to be the envy of your friend's eye. If you need other project ideas and inspiration, be sure to check us out on the website at friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. Lots of eye candy there. And when you're inspired to create with Friendly Plastic, make sure that you email me. I'd love to see photographs of what you made based on the blog, and I'll feature you on the blog too. That's going to do it for this episode of Friendly Plastic TV. Be sure to check me out again next time as I come back to share another great jewelry making technique.